Wayne has always referred to her as like just the athlete. She is just the athlete. She just does everything. And she, she's a bit modest, but um, I guess you know this. This everyone's got different stories and, and so forth as well. And Michelle always started in her position as well. You know, like she's run several marathons before, but didn't always start that way. You know, you've got a, a story of your own and so forth as well. You know, started with little triathlons, for example. So with achieving so much with a variety of events. What is, I guess, what drives you to keep going and pushing and, I guess, step the, raise the bar continually? Um, well, yeah. <laughs> I find it hard because people always say, oh, um, it's just easy for you, you can just do it. But can I just reassure everybody that running isn't easy? No. And, <laughs> and it's, um, it's not easy, it's always hard, and but you just get better at it. So when people say, oh, you can just, it's easy for you, you're a runner, I'm thinking I'm really not a runner. You have no idea, I find it just as hard as everybody else. Um, but people get a perception if they see somebody that looks fit, that they are doing it easy. Um, and it's not everyone's just doing it to their level. Um, so that was the biggest thing for me, because I started here, I had done my bridge to Brisbane, um, was the first, official run that I did and that was four, only four years ago and at that stage I was smoking and I that was my way through the British Brisbane and then I decided to do a half marathon um, which I did in over two hours and I nearly died doing that um, and then I joined Vision with a friend who was wanted to lose weight for her wedding and I I'll come along and see what it's all about. Um, and I set a goal that I wanted to improve my half marathon time. I'd quit smoking, and um, that made a big difference, obviously. Uh, but yeah, and then I thought, and I achieved that goal, and I was like, well, what next? I just <clears throat> done that. And then I've, um, yeah, just Fabi's always going, so what's next? Just something bigger and better. And like, I, I kind of think I've been one of those person, people that are, um, are not really good at, oh, I'm okay at most things, but not really good at anything. So I kind of just fiddle around and try <coughs> what I can do. Um, and my husband's really into bike riding, so I thought I'll start trying to ride a bike, and that's something we can do together. And then I fell into triathlon. Um, did a little bit of that, again, not real great at it, but I gave it a go. And then, yeah, started swimming and then meeting people through here kind of has shaped your goals as well. Because I would never have run a marathon if I hadn't met um, Steve Gable um, through Sammy. Because um, I always thought, yep, yeah, half marathon, that's great, good job. And then Steve's like, I'm going to run a marathon. But um, just the process of it, when you've got that structure and you've got somebody else that's doing it just as tough as you, and um, you know they're going to be here at five o'clock in the morning to make you go for that run, um, you just get through it. Um, and we did a good prep for our first marathon and um, missed out on my time goal. You're not going to achieve your goals every time, um, but thoroughly enjoyed the experience. Toughest thing I've done. I've never wanted to quit so much in my life. Um, so that there is, is everything that everyone else is going through as well. It's just on a different scale. You know, like, like people might be losing weight and they're going, oh, I should just give up, or I, I should just eat this, or I just want to give it here, I'm stressed out, rah, rah, rah. It's the exact same thing, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just a different situation. Yeah, oh, can I, in the, in the marathon, I think I broke mentally at probably about 27 Ks, and then at 30, 30 Ks, just before, at the Gold Coast Marathon, you did your move down to Burley and you stop. Oh, you don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you did the move that the half marathons do. And at 30 k's, I actually just stopped it in the middle of the road and went, I don't want to do this anymore. I just, <laughs> just want to stop right here. Everything hurt. And, I, and then I, this guy just ran past and he slapped me on the back. And keep going. And I'm like, I just wanted to punch him in the face. <laughs> 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 And I thought, right, so everyone at Vision and Craig, my husband, is about three k's down the road. I'll just make it there. And I thought, I'm starting running again. And then I saw them, and they all were going to cheering or whatever. And they're like, all oh, right, 
I can do this now. And so you do have those breaking points where you just want to quit. And But, I mean, what's the point in quitting, really? You've got to finish it. And I've never done an event that I haven't finished. Um, I've struggled through the end in a lot of events. But I think it's just finishing and thinking, what happens if I do quit? I'm going to walk away and it's just going to be a nothing day. What a waste of effort. You can't miss by your ways or um, finish. And it's the same with, like, I just started doing the off-road events, um, which is another crazy thing. And mountain biking is really hard. Um, and hence one day you scarred and scarred. <laughs> and bruises everywhere. But um, that was something different to try, and again, something that I could do with Craig. He loves his mountain biking, um, so we can go up and have food on the weekend. He's very patient with me, but um, yeah, and one race again, you had to do three laps of the course, and I'd come around the second lap, and I was just dead. I could not do any more. And Craig's like, Oh, you finished now, and I had a tear roll down my eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to keep going, and, but it's, it's, you just do it, and I think seeing what your body can actually do, and it's surprising. As I said, I never thought I'd be able to do that one, um, and we've got tough fighter in a couple of weeks, so we'll see how that goes, but I just think, for me, I have always done exercise, uh, but coming into vision, I've set the bar higher as to to what do I expect for myself and how far I can push myself. Um, and it's just about having the goal and the determination just to finish what you start. And, yeah. And, you know, like, Michelle's pretty modest, but, but she's sitting here because we, the trainers, think she's just absolutely ama uh, just amazing and inspirational to, to like herself, but also a lot, of, a lot of the other members as well. You know, and, and we've all got our different stories and so forth. And I guess the difference is, is we've always seen Michelle go above and above and above. You know, this is not to say that everyone has to go out and run marathons and triathlons and so forth, but it's like with yourself and your own values, how, what do you do yourself to keep challenging yourself? You know? And what are the different things, not just in fitness, but other aspects of life as well, what do you keep doing to challenge yourself again and again and again? And, and this is so much on a personal level for Michelle that we see. You know, she's not competing against anyone else, but apart from that at all, you know, like when, when we have these events, she's the one that's pumping everyone up and then a support and stuff like that because at the end of the day, she knows exactly how they're feeling, you know, because she's done this time and time again. And let's just quickly, before we move on, quickly go through a list of some of the things you have done. You've done triathlons, yeah. off road tries, off road tries, I've done Olympic distance try, which um, I did my first one of those last year. That's done, Tim uh, and loved it, and then I did. Um, the ride to conquer cancer at the oh, last yeah. minute. <laughs> the yeah. day before. She stepped in. How awesome was that? The day before, she yeah. stepped in for Anne, who was sick. The day before, stepped in to do a 200 kilometre bike ride. You know? <laughs> yeah, and you know what was funny? Like talking to Zane <laughs> <laughs> on the Friday morning, talking to Zane out the front, and we were joking about, yeah, I should feel a brand. And I'm like, yeah, ridiculous. You said I've got a baby shower yeah. with you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no way. Um, and then by the time I left here, driven home, I talked myself into it and I rang up and I said, I spoke to Sam, he said, this is a stupid idea. He went, yeah, but you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So, um, yeah. and, and I did. And it was amazing and a really amazing event and I'm so, so glad I did it. Um, yeah, both on a personal level um, and in terms of the event, it's just such an awesome event to be involved in. And that's the biggest thing I get. Um, like Gold Coast this year, I was disappointed in how I ran personally. Um, I set myself some goals and I just had a terrible day out. But Craig, the little driving home, he said, oh, you seem pretty okay that you didn't do what you actually wanted to do because usually I'm just grumpy and I don't do it. That's all for me. Yeah. <laughs> but I was just that pumped up with the excitement of everybody else and some people have just done so amazing and it's more the enjoyment I get from seeing other people doing it and meeting those people at those events and um, just seeing that they're achieved it and I think it was 
Wendy. She looked absolutely wrecked when she finished, but she had the biggest smile on her face. And it was just so exciting to see. And I get excited when I see people that have come so far and are able to achieve massive things for themselves. And I'm, not, I'm just cheesy like that. <laughs> And it's amazing when you keep challenging yourself, you keep raising that bar, whatever it is in any aspect as well, you know, like, and then you can do those spontaneous things like go out and ride 200 kilometers just the day before, because you've got that much level of belief that's just built up, built up over time, that it's like, hey, I can do it, you know, it doesn't mean I'm going to do it in the best time, it doesn't mean I'm going to do it in, you know, as fast as this person or that person, but I can actually finish it. And at the end of the day, that's the most important part. Right? Michelle, do you still get apprehensive about doing events? Do you still get Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially, I hate swimming, and I'm a terrible swimmer. So, um, triathlons, I, I'm, I'm always at the back of the pack, and I'm still scared. I just go, really, do I have to do this? Because um, I, I panicked, and I think at Ravy Bay, I just was swimming, and I hit a boat. Um, <laughs> Standing up on the first, second, third ball, she's first place, holding a medal with bloody knees. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, everyone, it's yeah, it's not all pretty picture, it's not all easy, but I think the biggest thing I have is that I just need to finish it. Um, and yeah, I think this year probably the biggest thing for me was um, I I wanted to I was sitting in first place in the, in the off road triathlon series and I would have won the series, but I didn't have to do the last race. And I um, committed to doing the Mount Me marathon with Steve. We're going to do half half. And I don't know if anyone's been out to Mount Me, but it's like, it's a mountain. <laughs> and we were doing a marathon, we were doing half each. Um, and that was on the Sunday. And then I got a phone call from the off road tribe um, people saying, well, you're eligible for the series win, but um, if you don't do the last race, you can't win. Uh, and it was the, the long distance one. Oh God, do I do it? Do I do it? And I, um, I said no. I've committed to doing the, map, the marathon this year. I'll just do that. And then again, the week before, I went, oh, I'll just do it. Um, I just had to finish, but I think it was it took me four hours to do that race on the Saturday, and then I had to back up and run on Sunday <laughs> with Steve. But um, yeah, I finished, and I felt good. And, feel great but I, I was still standing and I was still walking so I, it's just once you decide in your mind that you, you're gonna do it and you're gonna finish just do it and if you have to walk you have to crawl you have to do whatever it's just finish it's just that feeling as well like you know I'm sure a lot of you know as well when you when you set a task and like you know Mark you know this as well from doing the right for cancer and you're sick as a dog absolutely sick as a dog le week leading up but he said in his mind I'm gonna do it I have to get it done because I've raised all this money, I've trained for it, and I set my mind to it. You know, it's like the feeling you get, although you're sick as a, you know, you just want to lie down and die, you know, you, we even had a chat on Tuesday, and you said, I'm really happy I actually did it. It's just that self-satisfaction, that feeling sort of picture up as well, so.